YouTube and welcome to my unboxing of the learning thermostat by Nest. This has just been released in the UK this week. It has been available for a couple of years now in America. But the American Nest is slightly different wiring to the British Nest. So this is the actual UK model that I'm going to be unboxing. So let's start. There's the, the box. And there's the thing there. Quite an interesting statement. Um, I got this today from Amazon at £179. It is available in B&Q for the same price. Um, and for some reason, it is slightly dearer on the Apple website. Um, so let's start with the unboxing. have to excuse my squeaky chair. The Nest learning thermostat should be installed by a professional. Now I went to this website address, um, punched in some details and within a couple of hours um, an installer company had phoned me up. Now the American version is extremely easy to install, there's only five or six wires depending on their system on the back of the base plate. The British system is certainly different. Um, I, I'm pretty competent but I didn't want to have a go in installing this myself. which is ready to drop out. It comes with a plastic protector on it. There's the thermostat. A little bit of polystyrene separator and what looks like some instructions. And then if you can see it in there this is that. Yeah. Got some bits and bobs. Well, that's the bit that connects to your boiler. This is what the Americans don't have. Um, this is called a heat link, I believe. Just got a push button on that. Come back to that in a moment. What do we have here? Uh, there's the documentation, installation guide. So I'll have a look at that in a moment. Warning, only connect the Nest thermostat base to a 12 volt wire or USB. Connecting this base to 230 volts will damage it. Right, so there's your base. And as you can see, the British version has two wire holes, T1, T2. Um, you've got a little spirit level in there so you can line it correctly on your wall. Um, and that's it. That's we have. We have one of these base plates. And that's to Cover up any screws on the wall, which I think is actually quite an ugly base plate compared to the, the actual thermostat itself. Some 
interesting. We've got some there's the USB cable for the mains adapter. Now you only use this mains adapter if you plug in this in to a different point to where your thermostat is originally installed. So if you want it in a different room to where your thermostat currently is, you can mains, you can power it through the mains. It looks like it's got some cable ties or something. So. I like the way that's branded. Nest. Nest branded USB power adapter. And I think that is it for the empty box. So we've got a couple of screws, base plate, this and this. But the key part is that. Now let's have a look on the back. You can see there's the USB at the top there and the um, connection point at the bottom. So that we'll click in there. What I am going to be interested in is to look inside this box. Side. They're numbered from left to right, uh, the, the screw holes from this side here, left, and L123, T1, T2, 12 volt. There's also a USB connector in there, by the look of it. Um, and that's pretty much it. And on the other side of here, you've got an LED guide. And that's when it starts to get a little complex. So the American version, you just clip all the, the corresponding cables into this base plate. Around here would be all these little clips where you can plug in all your home heating system. The British system is slightly different. We don't have things like aircon and we're on a different voltage system and stuff like that. So there's all all that. Um, so let's have a look at it. This itself it is it feels really solid. There's a version one and a version two of this actual nest. I'm guessing this is the version two because it's slightly slimmer than the version one. Um, and it just feels really solid, quite weighty, lovely feel to the aluminium. Um, and then obviously when it's connected, this will, sp will spin so to speak. And along the bottom here you've got all kinds of sensors. You've got a temperature sen sensor, a humidity sensor, a near field and a far field activity sensor. And that will detect if some there's somebody in the room. It knows if the heating needs to be on or off, and an ambient light sensor as well to check if it's night time and day time. And there's a built-in uh, rechargeable lithium battery in there as well, and it's obviously Wi-Fi. Um, so yeah, and it comes with a two-year warranty. So there's quite a lot in the small box.